Turning now to a disturbing story involving bugs on a SEPTA bus. A woman on that bus took a video of the unwanted passengers, and that video has since gone viral. Action News reporter John Rollins explains SEPTA is now addressing the problem. Bed bugs scampering along the top of an upholstered seat back, not in someone's home, but on a SEPTA bus. Crystal Lopez knows all about it. She shot that now viral video. Minutes before, she had stretched her arm across that seat. Right before I was going to pull the cord, I feel like this itching, burning feeling on my arm. And I look up and it was bit entirely from my wrist all the way to my armpit. She says the bug bites triggered this allergic skin reaction. I felt like like my whole arm was like on fire and itching all at once. Bed bugs on buses, the topic not sitting well with riders today. It's scary. It's creepy. It's nasty. It makes me itch. <laughs> Had you heard about this before? No. It seems bed bugs are tiny hitchhiking vampires. They can be carried from an infected area into a public space where they can survive so long as they have a nearby crevice to hide in. They have turned up in buses in other cities as well as taxi cabs, airliners, and trains. SEPTA has 1,400 buses and a program targeting bed bugs. We have special treatments once a quarter for our buses where we come out and we apply, uh, the contractor applies uh, material specifically designed uh, to treat or prevent bed bugs. In yesterday's case, SEPTA pulled the bus out of service after Crystal Lopez sounded the alarm. SEPTA is also in the process of replacing upholstered seats with plastic. One way bed bugs can spread in public spaces is through personal belongings. You put down your backpack or handbag near an infestation and they climb aboard and you take them home. Some experts advise that if you're on public transit, you should keep your personal belongings on your lap, away from the upholstery and any possible infestation.